Okay, there we go. Stop this cutscene. Bebo. Oh dear. Poofy's taking a shower, so she can't make one yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, welcome to the stream here, Mercury. Um, I am knee deep in computers, but I am here to support your bullshit. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, joining us here. We're still just getting set up. We'll start gaming in a short moment. It. Good. For you. Yes, it is Bebo, king among gods, god among men. <laughs> yep. Let me move this here. Also, let us know if we sound good. We did a little bit of testing, but um, if anything, you know, needs to be adjusted, uh, definitely let us know. We can always try to adjust it and whatnot here. Um, so... Play again. We've got this monkey. Mosca Blanca says Bebo, king among gods, gods among men. <laughs> yep. Oh, cool. The stun gun is better. Um, raise this because it sounds a little low on my end. There. Okay, um, so what does this say? Way to go! Please come back again. Brick Road. <laughs> yeah, we don't have Bebo, we've just got Bobo. We really should have chosen like different names just so it's easier for me when like going through the text prompts. Um, maybe it was too easy. My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I'm devoted to I've, I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andonet's um, intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man, the first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again uh, once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Well, might as well. Is this saying, is this dude just admitting he wants a maze of flesh? Um, yeah, he just says that he wants to be a dungeon man, like a man who is a dungeon. Um, also- but isn't that our immune system in the get-go? I mean, I suppose. Um, also, if I didn't mention it, I kind of forgot. Um, thanks for, you know, dropping by here with us, Mercury. I do hope you're able to get your- computer running. Um, I don't know if the pieces have come in, as you mentioned, but hopefully all that is uh, going well. Tech is hard. Yep. You see, I regret not coming to the Earthbound stream earlier, because then it could have helped pick Bebo's name to be like Robbo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I thought that mushroom was something. Um, they haven't, but I cloned stuff and should have it in a couple places. Okay. Well, hopefully, of course, uh, it's not too bad for you. 
Uh, let's see, more slugs? Yep, we got three slug, this slug. time. no one in at life. There's only death and more taxes. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. Sorry, I'm just getting a walkthrough to make sure <laughs> that I have it open, um, just in case I need it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, personally, whenever I play, like, um, Earthbound or Mother 3, I usually have to use, like, the, the, what is the site called again? Starman.net site, just because they've got a very good, um, like, walkthrough. Yeah, no. As I said, there's nothing wrong with pulling up a walkthrough in the middle of a Let's Play. Or yeah. Twitch stream. Um, the Greeks understood that. Uh, it cracks me up. You still have to pay for goods and services in Hades. Um, I haven't played the game, but yeah, I get it, though. <laughs> Heard it's a really good roguelite. Yeah, for sure. I actually just started playing, um, what is it called again? Going Under? I always feel like that's what it's called. I think it is Going Under. Um, I just think it's really charming. Um, wait. What do I want to throw away? I'll you just... see, even in the afterlife, you can't escape from capitalism. As the Greeks described in the uh, afterlife, in the Whatever. underworld. Because <laughs> uh, apparently Mosca Blanca was talking about the myth place and not the game. Oh, sorry, I assume the game, since that one is, like, everybody's hot topic right now. I mean, it is a good game, and it's very pretty, and people keep saying it's very horny, but I don't understand why. <laughs> oh, cheat bracelet. We'll need that, actually. It's just about a dude who wants to get out of his dad's house so he can say hi to his mom for, like, the sixth time. <laughs> Mercury says is Hades game of the year debate? Um, probably. I haven't played the game myself, but everybody seems to enjoy it. So that's pretty good. Okay, that one. Dead so I mean, yeah. It's it very also, like, horny has because of the ethical designs. labor practices too. Or they basically were like, no working on the weekends, everyone, you have to use your vacation hours and stuff <laughs> like that. I don't understand why the main character, Hades, doesn't just use... What the fuck? Are the designs really horny? Are they horny? I didn't oh, think they were weird. horny, but I guess people are saying they're horny. Um... Wait, no. Did I drop this? I mean, they look pretty. They're all pretty people, but I don't think they're horny. I don't consider them horny. I guess that's just my ace ass just being like, wait, people find that sexually attractive? What? Yeah. I get the monkey to do this. Do I? Yeah, Mercury says it's not Xenoblade horny. Like, yeah, I feel like after seeing Xenoblade and Xenoblade Two, I feel like the standard for horny like designs has changed my mind. <laughs> no, that's true. 
I think Hades has very well designed characters that are very distinct and very like pretty, and I think they even attain to a, like a very nice aesthetic. Yeah, my thing with Hades is like, why doesn't the main character Hades just use the elevator that his mother does like every like winter or summer, whatever the the lore is? Because uh, I don't I don't know. I think something, something... His mom is just having a hot girl summer moment. She kind of is. Yeah. Alright. And the monkey is gone. Okay, but does he give us anything? Nope. Let's see, it says, so do I fight the cave boys? It just says these can easily kill you if you get in a fight with them, blah blah blah. Oof. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Speaking of horny, <laughs> what? Oh no. Return to monkey? Oh dear. This is a Stonehenge, or Stone Stonehenge. Stonehenge, you know, the European historical site in the uh, very highly coded Eagle Land, which is the U.S. Totally, totally exactly. makes sense. Exactly. He's in the uh, lab. This is his dad's place, right? Yes. You're my son, Babo. It's been 10 years, my boy. Oh shit. Wait, 10 years? How old is Bobbo? 10? Does yeah. that mean he only saw his son when he exited the womb and that was it? Sent him to boarding school right away? Yep, he was like, oh, bye. Goodness. Okay. And then he's like, alright, we'll meet again in 10 years. Open the present, broken pipe. Uh, I think we need that. He was like, bye bye? Question mark. Oh dear. <laughs> well, Skobong says, had a car waiting for him. Second, he came out, pushed him straight to boarding school. <laughs> okay, wait. Again. I know that, like, technically, pixel art oh, isn't go. always the best with proportions, but I like to imagine that, like, the table is too big for Jeff, that he has to, like, reach out his hands to, like, grab the solution of, like, those vials on the table, like a, like a kid does, you know? Oof. Yeah, no, I get it. Out of cart waiting for him, second so making. So here's the sky runner. It happens. He's all like, I'm gonna take my dad's UFO ship. Yeet. Mm -hmm. He's like, my dad is an alien. My son just stole my spaceship. This is why I don't deal with this shit nonsense. Oh my god. This is why he abandoned us at um, the age of infancy. Oh, I forgot the desert is an area. Oh dear. Man, it's been a really long time right. since I've played this game. I mean, I can't blame you. It's kind of a rough RPG to get back into. Yeah, it's just got some quirks, especially in the early game, that make it hard for me to revisit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the blue town that the KKK took over? 
No, this is the one where the zombies and such have taken over. Oh dear. Yep. Oh uh, shit, I'm gonna need to buy... Who says buy a teddy bear? Okay. Are you finding a place to park? Yep, we gotta park our vehicle. There's no... <laughs> there's no H for... Hey, stop, don't park here. That's what the H stands for, right? Oh, goodness. And then... The bloom. People looking up going, dude, this year has been wild. <laughs> yeah, the Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Babo. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Yes or no? I mean, do you have a choice? I click no. So why did you call me? Are you making fun of me? This is just the way I am. Paula says, it was just a prank, bruh. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just a prank, bro. He's okay. like, I didn't expect you to steal a spaceship to come here. Oh my um, goodness. You know what? If there's one thing I'm glad... I'm glad that the English translation for Earthbound definitely changed Paula's character because I think I would have found her very obnoxious if they kept with like the original script because I know they made her much more of a crybaby and much more passive and it just uh, <laughs> uh, you know, wanna be friends? Uh, jokes, dude! You gay? <laughs> Um, there's like this voice clip that randomly can pop up in Mementos for Persona 5 Royal. I don't know if it's in the base release, but probably. Um, and it's where like, um, Anne just goes, um, like, um, two boys shopping? Suspicious. Um, she really says oh that God. about like the protagonist and Ryuji. And I'm just oh like, hello, Mayo, you know? God. Um, okay, so we need to get rid of Putrid Man and the Smelly Ghost. Why are you being mean to the homeless people? He calls. Front row, and then let's do the Moldy Man. I just vibe really hard with the moldy man. Yeah, he's just holding up a flower being like peak performance, you know? Mm -hmm. Art. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's do fire again. There we go. Cool. Um, okay. So, we need to get him these items, we can put that away. Oh, okay, cool. So, I need to check and see what Jeff's IQ level is. Um, well, Bobo, sorry. Uh, it's at 10. So, uh, the gimmick- Gosh, remember when, like, people legit thought IQ actually meant intelligence? Lol. <laughs> yeah, just people building another superiority complex system. I know, right? Eugenics? Pfft, get out of here. <laughs> um, actually, wait, where's the hotel? Do that. I mean- Okay. Obviously, there's still there's still a bunch of dinguses that actually believe in IQ shit, but you know, 
It's because without They're... their silly IQ test, they would be like below average pathetic people. I and know, they right? can't cope with that. <laughs> Wish my dad was like, oh, here's like three hundred dollars. Um, have fun. Go. Well, and then Jeff's like, well, at least your dad remembers to call you and your family once in a while. I'm jealous. <laughs> I talked to my dad the first time, and he just was like, fix this spaceship, kid, and get out of here. <laughs> there. Alright, just a, you know, 10-year-old walking around with $1,600 in their pocket. Sorry, $1,601 in their pocket. $1,600 is the bee's knees in the 90s, because this is like, this is in the 90s, despite it being like... 19 fit despite being a 1950s americana s game yeah <laughs> mercury says god i wish i had 16k in my pocket same here mm -hmm. so much okay as far as like just stuff i'd like to have um it'd be cool if like i could just buy merch you feel Uh, 1600, that's 1. 1.6. Huh? Haha. Uh -huh. I don't think I got the joke. I'm sorry. Sixteen hundred is not sixteen thousand. Oh, your brain went to sixteen thousand. Okay, yeah, my apologies. I kind of glossed over that. Um, I still read it as a big number, so I was like, I mean, still wish that was me. <laughs> um, the oh, we can give away that backstage pass. Okay, they can take all that. Now what else? Uh, let's give this to Bob O. Uh, Okay, so what I'm gonna check here real quick is to see how much experience we need. So he needs 13, 3, and 10. Okay, that is fine. Uh, okay, let's go to the drugstore. And there's this man here who can us. Even my savings account doesn't have. Um, I yeah. once had 16k, and then I lost it all because I had to pay off my student loans. <laughs> I don't even have a savings. Oh, I don't even have savings. The universe, I applied for like relief, COVID relief fund for my university, and they actually gave me more money than the sixteen dollar, sixteen hundred or six hundred relief check. Mm -hmm. And they're like, and I was like, holy moly, that's enough to pay off my tuition. And so I spent it all on paying off my tuition so I can graduate and get a degree and repeat the cycle of capitalism. A degree? Ooh. Well, I didn't go to college. I mean, eh, there's no harm. Yeah, no, there's no harm. I, it's okay because 
I I mean, in the end of the day, the American college education system is basically a scam. It is. People be in their, like, manager CEO positions with a damn English degree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Let's not. Uh, I'll be like, uh, people will be like, you should have learned how to code. And I'll be like, I'm a CS major. I know how to fucking code. Shut the fuck up. Oh my That's God. not how fucking capitalism works and demand and supply of jobs, you dipshit. Yeah, I remember I always love and just understand. Of course, I do mean this sarcastically. Um, I had like that argument with like some white guy who was like insisting that coding is just something everyone should and can learn. And I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you yeah. know? I mean, I'm for like everyone should learn coding in the sense of everyone should technically I, I think like it would be like as a hobby and not so as a means of actually a skill set that you should learn in order to navigate capitalism but as an actual hobby and a form of knowledge since coding is its own weird linguistics and its own type of you know as a CS major I appreciate like what the like what is computer science and i think it's really cool when more people learn about it but like i don't think people should learn about it to get like a, a sustainable living you know mm -hmm. basically like y'all should be able to fulfill your own dreams while also have a healthy you know life and financial stability yeah okay we need one more Level up. Most of the is like learn to code, like telling is like telling people in the Middle Ages and learning to read, then you can go above serfdom. Yeah, basically. Because <laughs> it's like it's not just fucking. Also, like let, let's also like gloss over the fact that a lot of like tech companies do not have unions, and like fucking programmers are just as likely to be exploited for labor as like an average another person could be. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. The urban zombie. Holy moly. He just smashed I that think thing. I'm glad that, like, my CS department kind of weeds out some people. And by people, I mean it kind of weeded out the tech bros and they end up becoming ISTA majors instead. <laughs> they become poli sci majors. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Like, I mean, I, that's another... Like, the people yeah. in my computer science department have been ace or, like, very mm -hmm. sadly depressed to the point that they're just like, yeah, capitalism sucks. Mm -hmm. I've been lucky. But, um, but then, like, the moment I got into my game design class, like, there were so many, like, tech bros. It was so weird. And, and like, because it was an ISTA class. It was an ISTA course. I was like, oh my god. This is where you're at because I was like, huh, I kind of I find it a little bit weird that I haven't seen enough tech bros in the computer computer science department. Yeah, and it turns out they were all in the ISTA department. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, mm -hmm. like not to trash on ISTA majors because that's also a, a fine major, I think. But like, I was like, oof, this is where you're all at. What the fuck? And you didn't do that. <sighs> His IQ is at twelve. Yeah. Are you missing an item? Wait, do I? Yeah, I have the broken iron, don't I? I have the broken iron, and it says the broken air gun. Do I have a broken air gun? Broken pipe. Um. Basically what this is is that um, Jeff, there, there's an IQ stat, it really only exists for Jeff, um, but basically when you like sleep, Jeff has the ability to, um, to repair broken items, and it can be pretty helpful. Um, 
uh, because some of the items... The science people... is white supremacy types, or at least the people I've heard the argument come from people criticizing the institution of science, because there is a lot of racism, especially in the medical field and whatnot, with science. Like, the institution that these uh, scientific fields are built on is white supremacy. Um, mm -hmm. And I think most people say that usually straw men are usually neo-reactionary that try to disavow... Um, uh, the people who have genuine critiques about like the actual racism because there is actual like history of like medical fields turning down like people of color trans folks and like women when they're in like serious pain or need serious like medication or help and it's like because of bigotry and stuff they don't get the help they need so it's like there there is white supremacy in science at least in the science institution it mm -hmm. does exist um, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, co-opted leftists. The most things I've seen about that with the whole, like, science is white supremacy usually are from, like, centrists who try to, like, disingenuize, like, leftist takes or something like that is mainly what I've seen those arguments. And I'm just like, no, they're, they're criticizing, they're clearly criticizing the institution of science, y'all. Uh, Oh, I just like didn't pick it up. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I didn't pick up the broken air gun that was at the boarding school. Yeah, you you are right, Mosca Blanca. They do flock to philosophy. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I took my intro to game design class, MA, I I realized something. I know my shit. I was like, damn, I know some game design. I understand this, because I've mainly been self-teaching myself at this point, but I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. I have a better understanding about the game industry than some of these folks. I do not have all of this time. It was just imposter syndrome. But I know my stuff. I can make a game. Yeah. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a save state here, because I don't want to keep spending money on this, um, what's it called? What was the button I set up? Okay, Heads knife for the game concept, hit me with your best shot, what is it? Oh. Supposed to create the state before that. Broken machine became counter psi unit. Counter psi. And just what is that to you? Contains the enemy's side during battle. Uh, okay. Got. Oh wait, I do have the Magnum air gun. Wait, is that? You have the what? Ah oh, damn it! I accidentally bought an item I didn't need. I didn't notice I already had the item, so I thought I didn't. Oh, no. Yeah, so I thought I missed the Magnum air gun. I just didn't see it in my inventory, and I accidentally bought the lower, uh, powerful weapon. Um. Okay, well, we still at least got that other item. Board. New. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, 
let me okay exit and then enter again okay i'm gonna create a save state because i need jeff to make this item Please, Jeff. Ah, uh, am I missing something, or does it have a cooldown where the next rest can't make? Sense? Is Jeff unable to get his shit together? I need my child working through the night. Child labor laws. Um, What's that? Wait, what? Hold on, so... Your very first attempt has 100% chance of success, okay. If your last attempt had a 100% chance, the next fix will have 25. Oh. Wait, what? This is so... this is so weird. It says... Um, with that 25% chance, if the chance of success succeeds, your next fix will have a 100% chance of success. And then it says also, if a 25% chance of success fails, though, your next fix will have a 25% chance of success. What? What? That just sounds so weird. I, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss of words. Game devs, why do you do this? <laughs> so, The Sims with a generation inheritance? Oh, is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, I've only played The Sims 4. That is my- oh, there we go. Yay, we got the slime generator. I don't know what that does. This help. Okay, so it's like stops the movement. Um Don't mind me everyone, I'm just checking this to make sure. Oh my god, it doesn't give me a detailed description, it's just the same. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Maybe one day we should do a stream where we play The Sims for like an We play The Sims, and by playing The Sims, as in we spend an hour creating our like Sim OCs or recreating <laughs> OC characters into The Sims, and then we play for like half an hour and then we're, we're done. Like oh, any Sim and I player. Can broken pipe away too. Okay, um, so the broken pipe, we actually can't restore it because we need an IQ of 30. Oh dear. We need oh. to be a big brain boy. Yep. Like Sheen from that one episode where he has a big brain. Oh yes, I remember that one. Uh, I start go. We're gonna do a pickup. That was an episode indeed. Yeah. I don't remember what happened in the episode or what specifically caused it. I just remember big headed Sheen. I think like Sheen wanted to be smarter and Jimmy's like, yeah, sure, I'll make a machine that'll make you smarter. And his brain kept like growing big to the point that it will eventually explode as his head would explode. So they're like, okay, we gotta like shrink his brain down now. We he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. He's just too big brain for this world. Oh, I need to put that exit mouse weight. Um, broken pipe. We can't. Uh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. gonna put the money away. I'll put it away in the drugstore. 
Uh, okay. We're gonna pick up. We're gonna take the exit mouse. Then from Bobo, we're gonna take the broken pipe. Let's see what else. Uh, we need all those. Arm. We can throw that. So we sold that, or we put that away, I should say. Let's talk to this man. Sell the pop gun. And we're also gonna sell there. Okay, cool. So all that's out of the way. Go to the drugstore again. I'm fine with this place. So this is three number two. And there's a teddy bear near the hint shop. No, oh, not withdraw. Okay, Emma, what arbitrary, like, thing would make a game a 10 out of 10? Like, it's not an actual good gameplay, but it's, like, something that you really like that just... You would instantly love this game if it had it. Oh, that's a good question. Um... Like a certain, like, is there a certain archetype of character? Is there a certain character design? Is there a certain like gimmick? Is there a certain animal in a game? You know, unnecessary dance video or music video at the end of the game. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> of course, you'd say that. Yeah. Uh, where's this hint shop? The moment there is an asexual character, an asexual punk in in, in 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 a game, I'm instantly like 10 out of 10 game. Sorry, but I don't make the rules. <laughs> um, here, let's give this teddy bear a bobo. And let's continue on. I'm surprised you didn't call someone bimbo or jimbo. These are children. What is wrong with you? <laughs> no, I think we were just stuck on the whole O. We actually used a lot of B in this. <laughs> That's why everyone yeah, is like. But I'm like surprised you didn't do, you didn't do Jimbo. That would have been a good one. Should have been there. <laughs> I wish, sadly. Yeah, no worries. I mean. If everyone likes this, maybe we could even do um, Mother 3 and just name someone that or something that. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to find this tent. It should be somewhere. Not usually here. Oh, there it is. It says Awu. Awu? Yep. Gaurg. Have them all sound like nine songs? Oh dear. Um, okay. So, I guess we'll just have you do this. Let's have her do fire. Let's do beta. And then we're gonna use the bottle rocket. Let's do a small one first to the buggy tent. Oh dear. The teddy bear is dead. 
Oh shoot. Uh, I guess let's use dabbing beta. Okay, do that again. Hell yeah, because we're a beta cuck or something, right? <laughs> oh wait, that's not doing a lot of damage. Notice. Oh, sweet. It is done. Sweet. Um, so we dug around the trash can. Let's see here, a jar of fly honey. Okay. And I think next we take the honey to, is it other tent that's in town? I think so. Wait, I think the tent is like right above. All right, let's uh, mosey on up here. How can we defeat the zombies? I don't know. Why don't we get the zombies in this tent and set it on fire? I mean, hey, that sounds Please. like it could work. Get them all in the tent and line them on fire. Yep. So this weird object was playing Crash in the Graveyard, looked like a straight out of Saturday cartoon. You're pretty young. Okay. Oh, of course. So the game wants us actually to just get close to the graveyard so that we can actually get the phone call. Ugh, okay. Hooray, phone call event. Woo. Yeah, I don't understand why we just don't have like... Because they've got this... Look, I literally had to walk right here. <laughs> To get the phone call. <laughs> Alright, so the zombie paper. Hey, remember the phone calls in Pokemon Gold and Silver and how hard it was to actually trigger them? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure like if you look up a guide it'll probably tell you what it all is. Um, I know, but, but like, eight-year-old me didn't think about that, so like, I spent a lot of time walking around with no stones with an Eevee, and I was like, I want a Vaporeon that wears a water stone, and it took me until like I got to the 8th gym leader, where I actually managed to somehow accidentally, I think, trigger one of the events, and the guy's like, hey, I found a water stone, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, I, I think uh, also because it's random, too. Yeah. And like at that point my EV evolved into an Espeon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I, I think is pretty good. Yeah. Still pretty good. As far as like, you know, your option. Yeah, um, better than an Umbreon. Okay, so with the zombie paper into an Espeon, is it a spy? I mean Funny that you say that. That's like everyone's comment <laughs> about espion. Is it an espionage one? Yeah. Wait, are we supposed to sleep? I do like the de design of espion and embryon though. They're pretty cool. Oh yeah, for sure. Maybe we could do a Pokemon stream one day of like the Probably like the first gen, because it's easier to actually get through, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's easy to cheat through that and glitch it and break it. Just get a Bulbasaur. Wait, isn't this Pokemon? This... I mean, to be fair, though, this game did inspire a lot of, like, Pokemon, which is interesting. And you can kind of see it when you play the game. Uh, 
Uh, I wanted to say Pokemon, but you know what? Yeah, Digimon. Oh, or your Digimon has evolved into Jimmy the Squealer. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Digimon actually did that. Alright, time to light on fire and let the uh, internal screams of the uh, zombies put us to sleep. Yep. Um... Is, is this where we're like, PK fire, and we light the town on fire? That would be fun. But you know what they say. Kill with fire? Well, they just don't say anything. Because they all died. Yeah, they right. were eaten by zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Better anime at least. Um, yeah, I've heard that the Digimon anime is really good. Um, uh, and then... Yes, Digimon has had multiple official games, actually. Um... I personally really love playing Digimon Dusk. I think it's better. Um, it's a good DS game for Digimon. We. Yeah. Shit. Um. Okay, so I think. Use fire in the front row, and then... Oh, shoot, the future of Moldy Man. <laughs> Why did the they didn't say anything because they all died make me laugh so much? Oh, well, thanks for appreciating my humor, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah, Emma here is a master of humor. My humor is terrible, so it's okay. We just share the same brain wave. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got to level up. Hurry. Brady, that means they're the mixer of humor. A new gender neutral term I just made up? Oh. There's a skip sandwich deluxe. That's great. I love that there was a sandwich in the coffin. We just take it. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's an enemy in this next one. Oh. Not the zombies. It's a zombie dog. I the zombies really like look its like friend. dehydrated surfer dudes. Well, it's because they're urban zombies. Oh no. Oh shit, I got poison. Right. Uh, dehydrated surfer? Is any surfer out of the water? Well, I mean, in the wise words of Sir Fub, some of them no! are in the oh, water 24-7. Oh no. I didn't realize that Jeff's HP was low. Ah, damn it. Out of the dungeon we go. Save our BFF. Oh god. Deal with a ghost. Yep. To the zombie possessor. I don't know what that really means. I guess like they're trying to be like I think they're trying to like say it's a ghost, but it's not really a ghost, you know? Like they're they're trying to make a ghost like a, a creature that is a ghost, but not use the word ghost. Oh, what you the know, like how some zombie films do not use the word zombie and use like a different term. Oh, you feel like that's it. Me. Wait, what? There were not enemies in this room originally. 
Moskoblanca says, has there ever been a better character name than Zombo? And then uh, Moskoblanca also says, I mean, according to Duelist, people are ghosts possessing zombies. That's that's true. Nope, that's it. Fuck. You dead? This is why you probably should have got some healing stuff. God, test, test. Oh, I mean, that doesn't matter. It's because there's no revive items really in the game. Oh. They're all rare. Like, rare um, items you pick up. That's a problem. Yeah, no, it's pretty bad. It's the same way how, like, the the caramels in this game are like also really rare. So where's the hospital here? Um hmm. not that way. I mean, oh, here we go. I mean, zombie is a term with a history that's technically wrong. Oh, yeah, no. Zombies originates from Haiti, which is a uh, reference to the slave revol revolts in uh, Haiti, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's, there's a loaded history behind that. <sighs> Does this hospital really not have an ATM machine? Ah. <laughs> oh. The Haitian Yeah, uh, no, uh Moskvanka, like I know that like during the nineteen like sixties zombie films were more tied to the hoodoo Vodun, like Haitian myth zombies. Like the very classic horror black and white zombie films were. I Yeah. And then I do remember the I Am Legends originally based off of vampires, then like zombies, and then the modern version went with the zombie Oh no. Modern War version with the vampire zombie route, though. Yeah, from what I remember, it was like a combination. Yeah, I believe Night in the Living Dead also has like commentary about racism as well. Wait, what? Ugh. Well, I think Dawn of the Dead. No. Yeah, not of the Dead. Yeah. Uh, Caligari is a more classic, uh, the zombie movie than Romero ones. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Do that. I need to go to the hospital. Or not the hospital, the inn. Okay, um, well, I guess this is just one of those situations to remember to make save states as much as you can. Yep. So, like, when you take your friends to the hospital and you take their dead ghosts, is the hospital like, alright, time to get, uh, child body number three? Stuff a minute. <laughs> I think the way that the game... Well, because it's like they're actually at the hospital. So, 
I don't know. It's like kind of. Oh, messy. I see. So they're with you in spirit. Basically, yeah. Okay, I see it. I get it now. Yeah, I've always taken it as the spirit is, you know, with. Okay. So, round two. <laughs> round two electric boogaloo. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there was a ghost right there waiting for you to come down. I know. <laughs> I was just like, nah. <laughs> this isometric-ish perspective, like, fucks me up at times. I yeah. can see that, yeah. Because it's, it's like a bit of a less traditional, like, approach than other, like, Super Nintendo games had done. I'm just gonna create a restore point here. Okay, this isn't too bad. We just gotta fight some bees and a dog. Yeah. Um, which, I think... You have to be careful that dog could poison us. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm gonna have... I'll do freeze to the zombie dog and Jeff. I don't know, just shoot the zombie, I guess. Why does Jeff have terrible accuracy? Yeah. My nerd. Step it up. I mean, I guess I could be utilizing like the status conditions, but also like. You know, for a boy who's big brain, he got no big A. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Um. What is this? I. Mosca Blanca said, uh, I forgot. Well. I forgot the well time to leave and get uh, Imoen back at the temple and restock experience. Um, and then Mercury mentioned a friend tried to make me play FF7 and it was kind of like that too. My head. Making my, my head console games? What? If he, he has glasses, but like if he's nearsighted, then his prescription should make it like should help him be able to aim. Because I'm nearsighted, and as long as I'm wearing my glasses, I'm good. Like I, I also know that like aiming takes more than just like good eyesight. It also takes just having good motor skill, motor motor, the mo motor control. Yeah. Okay. So, another encounter. Paralysis is only to win. Yeah, symmetric, I can think off the top of my head is probably like... Well, no, those aren't RPG though. So I was thinking of, like, Bastion and Transitor and Hades, which are all pretty much isometric for the most part. Mm -hmm. But they're not, like, turn-based. I didn't even do anything. A save state because I feel like she's probably gonna die. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Please just kill these bees. I think my first experience was Diablo 2 real time with pause. I hate it. Okay, at least the zombie men are much easier to get through. Uh, yeah, take your time, Mercury. Hopefully everything is good. I like the turn-based thing in Numenera um, and Original Sin better. Okay, we got Fire Beta. That's actually good. Oh, cool. Silver Bracelet. Um... Oh, actually, we had a... We have... He has a copper bracelet. There's a charm here. Give that you. And... At least gives you one more defense. There. I love the unnecessary ta-da! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. I guess we'll do that, and let's do fire alpha. Okay. Well, fire is not good against the ghosts. hit them. Oh, she's possessed by a mini ghost. What? Uh, should, should ghosts be named zombie juice in this paper aisle? Oh dear. It is healing. Wait! I just entered the room! Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, um... Just freeze. Okay, at least it only does one point of damage. There, return to the dust of the earth. Wait. York, York. Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. This uh, mini barf says, I hate normies. Hey, it's the true form of a gamer. <laughs> um, you're the team of a gamer, you're like, Hoo! you know, you barf it out. Who has that? Um. I just love the mini barf's like face of fear. <laughs> just a raw emotion that it's just portraying. Yeah.
It actually did a lot of damage. Uh, I don't know. What do you have? I don't know. Use your slime generator. Mosca Blunder says, should ghost be named Zombie Juice in this paper, Al? Yeah, I just read it a little while ago. Oh shit, no. We need to do... Life of the Bebo. We need to do... Uh, do Fire Beta, I guess? And just shoot. Okay, good. Dab. Fire. Forty. No. Fuck. Ugh. Oh god, this may barf means business. Yeah. I just have to go back to the hospital now. Damn with the gamer fuel. <laughs> Ah, uh, that costs 10. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do that. Eat. Really it. Okay, you have a bottle rocket, so just use that. No, it didn't even do anything. We go. Oh my god. It's probably easier to just get a game over. <laughs> Jeez Louise, it really does need a revival item. Yeah, I don't know if you can buy the life noodles. At least at this point, I'm pretty sure you're not able to. <clears throat> I think in, like, Mother 3, they just made it so that if your party members, like, uh, fainted in battle, after the battle, you were able to, um revive them uh, just with like a regular healing item but here we don't have anything quite that good you know okay zombie is done yeah. uh yeah like god and silent hill 3 <laughs> i still haven't played the silent hill games but i know basically of the full game. Oops, not that. Healing beta. Okay. That costs eight. Nope, that doesn't even heal that. Ugh. Ah, uh, no! I'm gonna exit the room. Well, Jeff is done. Oh dear. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Let's try to run away again. There we go. Alright, how many times can we make it through to the actual dungeon? Because we're not even there yet.
So it's actually like not that bad in the actual dungeon, because I think there's one enemy that you can like kind of grind EXP off of. Ugh, just let me run. Finally. Okay. Like, also just annoying that there really isn't a running feature, <laughs> like, in the game itself, other than these skip sandwiches. And it's just a few seconds of running with the uh, the base one. I know the deluxe one gives you more time, but eh. I don't need that much, but it'll be fine. Let's just move down here, the hospital. And I think they should be able to get rid of this ghost here. Uh, no. Mm. Okay. So she's back. Alright, sweet. Okay, and can you get rid of this ghost? What? I get rid of this ghost. Blue-haired healer. Oh, purify. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, that was annoying. And now back to the um the hotel. There we go. Okay, so let's try and get farther, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna do deposit, mount, or a I'll just do this and the phone call to mom so that way it hopefully doesn't give us homesickness while we're in there. Because if it does, that's gonna be really bad. Okay. Back we go. Use. Okay. Hurry. Go.
I believe for this we can use fire. Let's do fire alpha. With the moldy man. Come on. Okay. So again, just hit them. Go, smelly ghost is gone. All right, third time's the charm, am I right? As God, I hope so. Exactly. Oh, fuck, it ran out. Well, that running was fun while it lasted. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Eight. All right. Also, welcome back, Mercury. Um, don't know if you were welcome back fully gone or just kind of in the background. But let's hope. We can actually get a move on. No enemies. What the fuck? <laughs> there was no enemies that time. Oh no. <laughs> Perfect. Checking on my sister's computer backup. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Yeah, I really hope, like, you can get it back or something. Not it. <laughs> Look at it. It's the armored frog. What is that sprite supposed to entail? I I love the armored frog. It's adorable. <laughs> oh yeah. He's just there vibing. Farm zombie gone. Now we gotta get rid of the. Oh shit. Who knew the armored frog had pretty high defense? <laughs> okay, level 20, that is good. And let's see what's in this present here. There's a bomb. Cool. Let's give that Jeff. Known as Bobo. And there should be the entrance around the corner here. Oh, another present. Protein drink. Get the Astronk on. Uh, so this is just one wave of red Antoid. Let's do. This just fire alpha should probably be enough.
perfect. So she got 18 more points of the PP, and let's go into the tunnel. Bottle rocket, perfect. We can give that you. And let's mosey on. Here we're gonna go ahead and this should be right to the village. Oh, one more room. Here we go. It's the valley. Groove. I ho me, Mr. Saturn. This place are um this place all our Mr. Saturn. I think this is the Yeah, this is the hotel. <laughs> Best feature of the game, yep. Mr. Saturn, a relative of mine, and Jupiter. <laughs> Slumber? Ayo. Eat. Yes. Eat. Okay. Um be here. Uh, what is in here? Is this the hospital area? Oh yes it is. I'm Dr. Saturn. Zoom. And I can repair your body. Boing. Do you want me to operate on you? Ding? No oh, goodness. Are you KO? If you alright, that's great. Zoomer. Oh no. <laughs> They're calling out all the Zoomers. Gen Z's had it easy for far too long. <laughs> Uh, wait, what's in here? There's a rust promoter. Okay. Is that just a one-time use item? Okay, yeah, it is. We can give this to you. And that'll help out for one, um, one robot enemy. So let's see yeah. here. We look like same, I give you special thing, not now zoom, I give you on the way back, boing, bye later. So boing, you have $380, we trade secret, um, herb, so boing, you have $1,780, we trade Horn of Life. <laughs> okay. Then you, uh, base secret, base behind Grapefruit Falls, password I tell, below man say, say password, then stand still, wait for three minutes. Uh, scary, scary guy, boing, grapefruit falls, uh, scary, <clears throat> scary sick, uh, barfy, go and la la la, ding scary. Well, didn't put it any, uh, better. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. I need to find an ATM. Because I think the Horn of Life is like one of the other items that can heal. Uh, yeah, just get the save in. Uh, let me double check. Horn of Life. Expensive. All right, that's still pretty good though. So, automatic. Let's withdraw. We only have four thousand. Get out two. Uh, you buy something. You can use Mr. Saturn. What can I do for you? What do you want? Zoom. What do you buy in Zoom? Okay. Oh, they also sell the Horn of Life here. Their postcard. <laughs> oh dear, it said which will carry this burden. Uh, okay. Oh, no, not outside. Okay, my video from yesterday's stream uploaded onto my channel. Nice! I guess it makes sense because it was only like I think an hour and a half, so it's too long to load. No, it doesn't. Um, you just kind of have to like come back later because um, it usually takes a bit. We're gonna get out one thousand, and I love their interior decorations. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Um, okay, so we're gonna do quite a nice charm. minimalist aesthetic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need another great charm. This one for TV. The red ribbon for her. He will carry this burden. Uh, sell for 44. She'll carry the burden of the red ribbon, the ribbon dipped in the blood of her enemy. <laughs> uh, okay. And draw more. Man, this place sounds like run me dry. But then again, I also did just buy like a $1,700 item. You did. Okay, so like, do they ever explain where the Mr. Saturn's gonna be, or are they just... They just exist? They just exist. That's valid. Yep. Okay, so let's do this to you. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's see. Do I have any extra charm? Yeah, I've got another copper. All that. Thank. Yes. L. So here's the thing, we can buy a bionic slingshot. This has really horrible accuracy. Um, but I could put it on a uh, TV because she's like the magic user, so she's not really meant um she's not really meant to um be physical or anything. Yeah, be physical. So it could work. So we can at least do it so that way in like the off chance we do it. Um or should I not risk it? I mean, what do you got to lose? And is there any other better item that for like I don't know, Bobo or? Uh, no. He's he's gonna have to hold on to his like little Magnum air gun for now because it's the best thing. Um, is there anything else for Bebo we can give them? No. Uh, 
it's it's a really bad idea to give them slingshots because they're so physically d uh, offensive. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I'll just yeah. leave it as Maybe is for now. Maybe just save your money. Yeah. Okay, let's do a deposit. Um, oh god, we only have $101. Let's save all that. Can you spend all your money on the games? On the gamer? It's true. Uh, okay. So with that, I don't think we can progress further. What do you have to say? Lots of friends. Taken behind falls. Why, why, boing. And you... Uh, three is zombie full. I saw bad stink behind falls. Zoom. Okay. Let's go ahead and I guess go back because we have the passcode, which is just to wait. Um... Oh, wait, what's in here? Oh, all this. Uh, let's see here, broken spray, uh, protractor, and then sudden gut speed. Okay, cool. Let's give this broken can to you, and just to check your IQs at 20, which... We cannot fix anything. Broken laser from Belch's factory up ahead at 24. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, with the passcode here for waiting three minutes, we're going to go ahead. Um, Ant. Oh, it's a violent roach. Quick, step on it. He wants you to step on him. <laughs> fire. go. Alright, so let's take out this one. Only 17 damage. Okie There's another frog. Oh. Uh, okay. So... 14 for beta, and it's 10 for... Do that, and then just use freeze. Let's do freeze beta on frog, and just shoot. There we go, Armored Frog is done. Ugh, called another ant in. Defeat the villain, defeat the villain. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, cool, Bobo leveled up. Uh, ooh, that is not good. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, hold on. The sneeze coming in. Okay. Um, let's use this. Let's use. Well, there's three enemies, so maybe we'll do that and just use one of the crocodiles. Ah, uh, hit the zombie. Oh, I love the I love the little crocodiles. They're very they look very uh. They look like they're just vibing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right. Need offense up. Cool. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Cool. So we at least have the first turn. Oh yeah. No. Kangaroos can do that, and it's so weird. Kangaroos don't feel like they should exist. Exist. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's half the animals in Australia, really. Yeah. No one was meant to, like, live in Australia. It was just the experiment zone of, like, hmm, let's test out animals, you know? I mean, there were some indigenous people there. They knew, they knew what they were doing. It was just, you know, when, I, when the settlers came in, they're like, oh, yes, let's test this place out. Oh. Australia is an elaborate hoax. This says uh, Mercury and Mosca Blanca says Australia. Why? Ooh. I get really blown away though. Okay, there. I get really blown away though, the fact that like, kangaroos have really large claws. Oh, yes, they do very large claws. Yep, they are ready to kill. Oh, so how's chat doing? We got three minutes here to kill. Just some dissing on Australia. <laughs> I might have to leave the next 20 minutes to take fam to deposit Christmas money. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no worries. Mercury says just poggin, and then most says vibing. Yeah. But you know, they're all moods. Oh yeah. Big moods. Uh, kind of giving up on my computer right now. I think I'll just do a clean install when I get the new disk next week. I have backups of all the data. Yeah, well, that's good to hear, of course. Um, hopefully once you get um, it set up, hopefully it's all uh, smooth sailing from there. <sighs> yeah, hopefully you don't lose anything. Uh, I'll just do a fresh install on the new hard drive and that'll work fine. Yeah, of course. Um, <clears throat> I think like the only thing that happened like the last time I, um, had something like that happen is where um, I had to like reboot my computer, um, my old one I had, 
Uh, but I forgot to like make the only thing I forgot to like make a backup for was like my Minecraft um, levels that I had made um, years ago. So I did like lose all those, which kind of suck. Um, but oh well. Um, yeah, and then manually oh, copy the folders I want. Yeah, it's a big oof moment. Oh, okay, well, after three minutes, we can finally enter. Go. It's floppy. Um, I mean, one of my SSDs is just Steam games, uh, with sometimes a couple of mods, like fucking Deus Ex, so I guess no stream Monday. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Farm zombie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember enjoying this level as well. Um, it's not so bad. Just because, like, the, the hardship is actually getting here. <laughs> Which kind of is, like, the majority of, like, Earthbound's, like, problem, in my opinion, is, like, to get to the next area is, like, usually really, um, really, like, difficult. see here there's a bomb woo okay let's give the the bomb to Bobo in theory I can just re restart the system and Deus Ex on the disc but eh yeah and I, I know like Steam is usually pretty good about like having the backup save data at least so I doubt you'll have lost any progress, you know, either, Mercury. Yeah, the saves are on the cloud. <clears throat> oh, game is lagging. The zombie sprite reminds me of Lethway. Ah, uh, just take fire right Glad your saves are on the cloud, Mercury. I I also recently like lost a lot of my um my stuff to on my computer. Mm -hmm. The guide recommends we grind level 25. Okay. That's actually not too bad. Oh, what level are you at right now? Uh, I know Bebo is at level... Uh, I know that he's at level 22. Uh, one of the wisest things my dad has done is have two separate backups for the computers in the house. Uh, I try to have all it, uh, cloud saved and hard saved on my Mac, but on my PC, eh, I can live with losing some game data. Yeah, no, I understand that. Ah, so honest, smile, boing. Ness is like, there's no problem here with the slavery. Tired, but so good, ding. Hmm. Uh... 
Just fight more of these, I suppose. Floppy B, floppy E. Hey. Do these floppies become floppy discs? Since no. they become circular and you crush them to the ground, does that make them disc? Floppy no, discs? It eh? just makes them floppy dead. Oh. am I at I'm right now? So we're at 26, they're at 22, 23. Okay, cool. So not too much more then. I kind of want to get, or I kind of want to set up a server that's just backups for the computers here. Yeah, no, I understand that. Defeated. 23 for her. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm going to Etsy. I'm trying to find some good goth, goth clothing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I found a hoodie that's that's just space milk. It's just what? It says space milk, and it's like a milk carton with an alien on it. It's green. Oh, nice. I kind of like it. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I'm really tempted. Ooh. Seven. Ooh, there's a lot of them up here. Three. There's a top that says Goth IHOP. I would probably make a shirt that's just the gothic tropic um, and just have it be a really like like a uh, black and white monotone kind of um, what's it called like little palm tree island picture yeah oh cool we were strong enough to instantly KO two of them. Beta. Could actually take them all out. Yep. Perfect. Six hundred. Yeah. Oh no, there's a there's a hoodie that says retired emo kid. <laughs> it, it it compels me. I feel like there should or there already exists a shirt that says um, former scene kid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Down. We're working with. Still waiting on the dad is dead one. Or data. Uh, but that one is also good. That is good. That's a good one. Data is not dead. It's not. It became Vine and TikTok. 
my hot take. Oh wait, is this like a Star Trek reference? Or... No. Uh, this area? This map? N no, that... Data. No, Data is the art movement. It's the anti-art movement. Oh. Okay. <laughs> also, I just saw the Data Pawn. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Virgin Iggy Pop versus the Chad uh, Francis uh, Picavia? Damn. Okay, she's actually about to level up. He was French, so I don't know how to say his name. It was Frenchy Pickle. That is the English translation of what you just put. Eight. Okay, mess. Bebo. Now I forget if we're supposed to go down for progress or left for progress. Um, so let's go down. Okay, yes, perfect. Good thing I did go down then. Uh, so we've got the line. Use that. <laughs> Turns out it's pronounced Baguette La Marseille. <laughs> Told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> I thought you said somebody, but I realize now you're saying zombie. Yeah. Sharpest <laughs> tool in the shed. Yep. <laughs> Capsule. Wait, so what are we laser. in now? We're in a factory right now. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it looks, it looks like she was looking kind of young with her brain just sticking out. <laughs> You see, it's actually it's actually satire because these zombies. What 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 did the zombies do in the factory? Well, what you don't understand is it's the working class that's been enslaved to be a mindless zombie to the corporate overlord lords. So <laughs> that's why there's zombies in this factory. Commentary, you see. The the floppy represents also um, the idea of unionization. I don't know. Yes, the floppies are the Red Scare. They may look harmless at first, but if they come together, 
It's a real threat. The proletarian zombie versus capitalist vampire? Yes. <laughs> I mean... I mean, like, Dawn of the Dead was literally a commentary about capitalism because the zombies would, like, instinctively go to the mall. It's because, like, when the brain goes zombie, it's like... It remembers basicness, so it's like... Oh, I am zombie now, but I forgot to buy my Jordans. So let me go grab a snack and find my Jordans, you know? Yeah. This is my Hi, thought Bigo process. Nuggets. I love uh, your emotes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh, I think that's We're one of just, just the... Uh, ideas here. Yeah. Just your typical grinding of, uh... of, um, Earthbound. I was about, just about to call it home stuck, and then I stopped myself. So I don't know anything about Homestuck, but I have this instinctive gut feeling when I see it, where I'm like, this looks Homestuck. Yeah, because Homestuck has a distinct art. It's definitely set itself as a distinct moment of popular culture. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've sent Cam, um, I've sent him like some stuff sometimes where I'm like, I don't understand this, but I think it's a Homestuck joke. Homestuckers be like, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh no! What if I buy myself one of those Homestuck shirts just cuz mm. and I like set up an e-girl outfit, you know? But like, I'm wearing like, uh. one of the Homestuck shirts. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna see it on my Twitter, and you're gonna be like, "Well, now you're cringe." And I'm like, "Yes, I am cringe. I know it." Yep. Yeah, I'll admit it. Cringe culture. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god! I don't want to be in this battle. Okay, let's just use... let's dab on them, and hopefully that kills them. Hit the oh. dab, hit the yeet. We dabbed and caused 215 points of mental damage. Uh, but you <laughs> nearly adopted the cringe. I was raised in it and molded by it. Oh dear. Um, pick up the floppy. Oh, damn, what the heck? I did like critical. Okay. Um, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be a chest. Or not a chest, but like. I think there's garbage cans up there. But, we actually need a heal. Um, Alright, I'm doing it. I'm buying a Vriska shirt right now. Uh, what is that? It's like, I believe she's, she's a Scorpio, and I'm a Scorpio, so I feel like naturally if someone asks if I'm a homestucky, I'll be like, no, I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Oh, like, no, nah, I just saw the Scorpio shirt and really liked it. <laughs> but that'll that'll get the homestuckies. That'll get the homestuckies a bit sad. It's true. Jupiter is a Scorpio and a homestuck. Hey, I only got through like volume five and then I dropped it and everything else. Oh, who the hell these people are? I think like... season five, the trolls don't even appear yet. So like, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know the trolls entirely. All I know, people shift these characters with these characters because I see them a lot in my friends' dashboard because I'm still friends with people who are still into Homestuck, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, do we have? Are we maxed out? Let's see. Uh. 
No, they need like 30 more. We're both worse. They're both worse. Um, <laughs> we're both worse. I just like to think of it as the, uh, there are two wolves inside of you. Uh, one is Scorpio. One is Homestuck. You are an ace disaster. That is true. That is very true. I cannot deny that. I'm like, where is the shirt? Where is the- why is the- Okay, I'm- I'm scrolling down kind of a lot just to find the Scorpio shirt, because I- I saw the Virgo shirt. Try for the Scorpio one. When I return to, like, um, I just want to, like, walk Mostly up- Mostly bad up. fly. Yes. That is a good name. That is a good name, I agree. Alright, fire beta. Oh, alright, perfect. My favorite shipping is the is 24 hour shipping. Wait. Oh jeez. I'm gonna get the unisex one so then I can pull off it more with I'm gonna get the unisex one. Ah. So then I can pull off like an easy fit with it. I think it'll be perfect. Yeah. E girl Jupiter. I feel I've mentioned this a lot on stream before, but I'm disappointed in what e boy girl person culture actually looks emo. like. No, it's like diet emo. It is. Okay. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's just do dabbing alpha. And then I guess we'll just hit the flies. So I guess the way that they try to like balance out um like Ness's um like stats is by making him the slowest party member. Uh what I is guess that? So. Why that sounds lovely, Wheel, is not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I might have just miss I think I'm missing what the uh what makes it lovely? HP sucker and calorie stick. Okay. Ugh. All of them. Okay. That is fine. Gab. Uh, let's use freeze alpha. And there. I just can't wait until I get like the grenade, or not the grenade, but the rocket launcher. <laughs> I still love the slimes, face of disgust. I like the mostly bad fly. Mostly because of yeah, the name. Yeah, it's a good name. Okay. Alright, take out these floppies. Killing all these floppies, floppies. Because they're just full of juicy EXP. Oh goodness. Oh, are you grinding still? No, I'm trying to like progress. It's just a lot. <laughs> uh, here, let's do like up you. Get the butterfly. I think the magic butterfly only does 15 points for everyone's uh, uh, magic stat. Okay, 87, 95, perfect, cool. Everybody's maxed out again. I'm sorry, having a minor laughing fit? <laughs> Mm 
Uh, beta. There. Oh, okay, come on. Let's get to the end. Let's give this to you. And let's go to goods. Oh, just done without. Oh, dear. <sighs> that is definitely a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Um. Okay, yours is at twenty-five now. Uh, I've got a protractor. I mean, I don't blame you. For some reason, um, I misread Grim Reaper. And I just, I don't know why, but I thought of Dib from Invader Zim. I know that is not even close, but that is just what I immediately thought of um, when you wrote that. Like, a shirt with Dib says, born to shit, forced to wipe. Thank you for joining my TED Talk. Uh, let's fire alpha and just... Dab. Okay. What if Dib, like, actually became a Grim Reaper, but then it turns out that, like, he still doesn't convince people that he- that in the supernatural, even though he's a Grim Reaper? work. I get it, but it doesn't have the same ring. The boomer ass metal album cover <laughs> makes it? Oh jeez. No! Why did they call another slime? Oh no. Time to take out the trash. No! Another one. Wrecked. I'm like trying not to use my freaking uh, PK moves so that way I can Get save it wrecked. for the boss. But I've already defeated three of them, so I'd rather just take the EXP. Get wrecked. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay, Please. I think I need to head out. Yeah. Um, not because I'm not being funny or anything, but because I need to do some adult chores. As in, Adulting? I need to go to the bank. Sad. But I feel you there. Uh, what's the password? Alright, maybe I might be able to rejoin later. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about yeah. it. Most yeah. of my here. All right. Bye, everybody. I hope you all have a nice day. I hope, I hope the factory workers see you. Uh, yep. Yes. Take yes, thank yourself. you, Mosca Blanca. I have to do these loser adult chores. All right. 41 damage. There. Okay, so here's the boss. And hopefully no issues. Uh, burp? So, you are Bebo. I see, Bjork, Bjork, Bjork. Um, there's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master uh, Gygus. Eeg, 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 you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, uh, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. Gar gar uh, sorry, gar -g gar -g ga ga ga. I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. Get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. Okay, come on. 
So... Here we go, fly honey. And now, um... The... Let's really just use... Oh, very slow. No! Shit. Um, maybe Beta cures that? And have her use Freeze. Look, have you... Do you have any rockets still? Got the bombs. Oh, there's a bottle rocket. Okay, perfect. Um, have you do that again. Fly honey, freeze, and use a bomb this time. Hundred, perfect. All right. Well, that boss is actually pretty easy, so that is good. Looks like it was an even fight. Master Gagas has managed to get. The money money statue into foresight. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Suffer Spanky. Um, okay. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing. Goody. Burp. Uh, you worn down? Ah, boing. Burp, barf, pinky, pu. You again? Oh, that was just a shortcut. Okay. Go in hot spring, uh, wash barf off. Okay. Uh, longer ladder can go to hot springs. You got in and washed all the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Eat. Uh, drink coffee before go. Say yes to me. Say no to me. Bottoms up, boing. What did they give these children? for the broken laser into the laser gun. Okay. We'll need to do the laser gun, and I think that's it. Because he should have a higher... Just trying to take a quick look at the um, at the walkthrough here, just to make sure I understood what I'm doing. 
Um, because paying attention to the game, <laughs> am I right? Okay, so I guess once we go into that room, we're able to beat the boss, then that clears the reed. I guess we could maybe wrap up the Earthbound session once we get to four side, just to keep everything a little bit clean. Okay. I do have money on me. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Um, let's go back in. Talk on the phone. There we go. Express. Delivery. And just need the broken pipe. That is it. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll have to reset this um, as many times as we can to get that um, laser gun unlocked. You. I know hand my stag beetle. Oh, I tease you. I have no something. Okay, come on, dude. There we are. Perfect. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead. Where that is in F's possession. Also, we have the stag beetle. What does this do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's kind of funny. It just uh, stops the enemy from moving. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, we want to slumber. Okay. Break in. Okay, let's do the call to dad, and then let's also do the one to mom. Just to make sure we try to avoid um, homesickness as much as we can. Um, though I'm not 100% sure if actually calling mom, like, proactively does, but who knows. Okay, um, back down. I guess we want to slumber. Ah, nothing. Okay, Jeff, come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, kid. Said IQ of... 24 or higher. Yep, 25. Yeah, this is just one of those situations where I don't really like this, um percentage thing that it does. Ah, okay. Come on. Ah, seriously? This. I feel like save stating isn't really gonna that much time since at least it's also free. Gosh. Okay, let me just make sure you have. You do have the broken pipe. Getting really bad luck here. Let's go! Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, I don't understand why they opted in for this percentage thing. Oh my goodness, Jeff, please. <laughs> This is the true gotcha system. <laughs> Who needs Xenoblade Chronicles 2's um, waifu gotchas when you can have just as bad luck here with me on um, just this, like, crafting thing? Oh my gosh, come on. Am I doing broken laser or broken pipe? Crap. Damn it. Wait, who has the laser then? Ah. Okay. So, that's where the mistake was. Ugh. I was trying to fix the broken pipe. Which that one is for 30. Ugh. Bees. Okay. Try that again. Welcome to the Christmas Eve Spooktacular, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining the stream here, Sig. Um, just doing some Earthbound. Um, we just beat the Belch monster. And I am trying to get Jeff to fix an item. All right, come on. We want slumber. Oh my goodness. Nope. Okay. Oh dear. Alright, this bit might not be too entertaining. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So we got the laser. Um, I guess I'll have to put that other item back. Yes, do a pickup. And then let's try and get on over to the dungeon. Come on. No. Take the broken pipe. This. 
Uh, and I think that's it. Let me see, we've got the Franklin badge. I don't think we need the jar of honey. doesn't look like I'll need this item again, and we got some 50 friends. Okay, I guess we're okay. Let's just get all that taken away. We do need to go into the cave. Let's go with Jeff. The laser. Oh dang, 75. Okay, time to move on to the next boss area here. Um, wait, up the ladder. And we go. And of course, picture time. Let's go ahead and get a move on now. We've got the Tough Mobile Sprout and the Strutton Evil Mushroom. I guess I have 88 points. Alright, let's just do that and let's do fire um, beta and just come on. Oh, damn it. No! Uh, welcome to the stream, Leslie. Hope your day is going well. Just doing some Earthbound here. All right, so we've got you are Mushroom Eyes. This should take it away. There we go. Okay, perfect. We got rid of the mush eh, Mushroomization. And let's continue. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Let's have you do that again. And shoot. Okay, now let's get rid of Sprout B. Oh, come on. Woo, okay, perfect. Everyone is doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay over here. Or at least I am. I can't speak for everybody. Um, but of course, hope your Christmas uh, wasn't too bad. Here. Yeah, it's just the sprouts. Let's just do this. It's really just the mushrooms that are the ones to want to take out super quickly. Perfect. Okay. Wait, she's at level 28. Bobo leveled up. Wait. Okay. Oh. What are you? These are the Ranboob? Okay. 
Uh, let's just do fire alpha on them, I guess, and just shoot. <laughs> Thirty-five damage. Six. Okay. Oh dang, these really do hide quite a bit. Okay, perfect. Got the ran boobs out of the way. Come on, fella. Uh, since it's just one. Let's see how Freeze Alpha works on this. Maybe it'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, only 65. Field of Light. Okay. Why don't you use the Spine Generator? Ah, come on. You bought a cover for the Switch. Oh, awesome! Hope you enjoy the cover, and that it's a nice design. Oh fuck, okay, um... Okay, 84 damage. Okay, good, it only attacked, it didn't do the mushrooms. Sweet. Okay. Um... You here. Point of slumber. Okay. We could give this to who has the lowest defense? 47, 51, and 50. Okay, so I guess we'll give it Bebo. Don't equip. Oh, wait, no, the Saturn. Okay, let's do coin, uh, coin of Slumber for you, and then uh, Saturn coin, give it to you, that way she can actually, yeah, because that goes to 73, that's going to help out since she doesn't have a lot of health here. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. And boss time. Let's make the save state. Because I don't want to travel back through that. Uh, you finally got here. This is your third, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Um, <clears throat> uh, take it from me if you dare. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so have you dab and then. Okay, so everyone's on one row. Let's do fire. You, you have a bomb. Okay, you have a bomb left, so. Uh... I think the slime generator was a better option. Life up A. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, it didn't work. What? No! Oh my gosh. It. Okay. Um. Crap. Okay, freeze beta. You are just gonna have to use the bomb. Okay, 118. 111. It. Um. I have life. I guess I could use that. I wonder if Ray could probably do something. Um, oh, well. 
Now we're crying, so that's less helpful. No! Ah, oh, shit. Um... I hate that diamondized is a status. It's just an instant kill, basically. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we missed because we're crying. And Flash isn't going to work because it's the same status. Oop, we took mortal damage. That is it. Alright, well, let's try again. <laughs> okay. Uh... As far as your other options, you've got the shield, hypnosis, and paralysis. Just do that. Um, we're gonna have to use Psy or Fire Beta. You just use the bomb. again um hmm i could do thunder beta let's just try it um and then you don't have anything else uh let's just try the slime generator see if maybe it's just a one-time chance uh and both thunders hit or didn't hit understand how that one works. Okay, so Paula should be able to go first, so let's have her just use Alpha, and you just shoot. Again, now freeze beta with Paula and just shoot. Perfect, awesome. Okay, she got defense down. Awesome. Okay, well, that takes care of that guy. Oh yeah, Leslie, if you're still in the chat, um, were you able to get your uh, Animal Crossing um, island moved over? I uh, thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, be a thoughtful, strong boy. <clears throat> Recorded the sounds well, and that's it. Cool.
Let's get past these guys. Uh, God damn it! Why didn't I make a great mighty poo joke just to? Oh, oh dear! It just came to me. Uh, why don't we take Bikini Bottom and move it over there? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather not fight you guys, so just get out of my way, please. There. Sweet. Uh, forgot my game concept uses safe spaces to help genetic, but name ticks cannot make progress in safe spaces. Hmm. Well, um, good luck with your game concept there. <laughs> Jeans have to keep it filthy. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait. Let's just make the phone call to mom just to avoid the homesickness. Okay, too bad. $3,000. And now we make our way back to Threed. Through the cave, and looks like the roach is still targeting us, but not those other monsters. Alright, violent roach. Mash. These dirty memes. Oh, come on, Ness. Alright, we gained some experience. Okay, looks like all of them are gonna hit us. Let's do... Yeah, let's just do beta for that. Just shoot the crocodile. So, I think this one was weak to freeze, so let's just do freeze alpha. Okay, perfect. Didn't even have to use it. Uh, now I'm imagining dirty memes of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Oh, um, I don't think I fully understand what you're referencing. Um, about them, I should say. Okay. So at least for my goal here with today's stream is to get to Foreside, um, and then just have that, or have us pick up, um, from Foreside in the next Earthbound stream on Wednesday. Um, the... Wait, hold on. You hit the Antoid, you do freeze on the frog, and you shoot B. There. Okay. Um, what was I thinking of? 
Oh yes, I was thinking of if folks wanted to uh, see um, Mercury, known as Disaster Queer in chat, had shown off um, a game by an hour of Wild Hearts. If folks are unfamiliar, I could do a short little session after um, we get to Foreside if folks are looking to see the game. It's a very colorful game um, and a very nice, um, like a very nice uh, music as well. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, if I, if I refer to someone as Mercury, it is going to be um, Disaster Queer in chat. Um, sounds interesting. Yeah, the game is only like an hour long, so it really wouldn't take too long um, of the stream, just because I noticed that we're almost at about three hours here for the stream today, and I did start a bit earlier than I normally do on Saturdays. <laughs> oh, here we go. And now Threed has a new theme and a day right stuff. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks, peace, love. Um, I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who could have ever imagined it? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. Uh, I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? <laughs> okay, let's get a move on. Where is the bus stop? Isn't it? It's up here. No, that's not where the hotel is. It's right next to the hotel. Ah, here we go. All right. I know it says bus, but what does that say? Huh. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't tell. Okay, six dollar fare. Let's go. I totally forgot about this section. Man, it is bumper to bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Oh jeez, I forgot about this section. Um, welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. I was gonna see my girlfriend in Foresight at this pace I'll be a I'll be hundred years old by the time I get there. I heard that a little ways ahead, a herd of buffalo was running across the road. Can't move an inch. So sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. Uh, this counts forever. I need to go. All right. And I know that you get heat stroke um, here in the desert whenever you're actually walking in the sand. Right now, since we're walking in the, um, in this street here, it technically counts as, like, city or whatever, but here they'll start sweating and they'll develop heat stroke. They are out too long. Oh, uh, let's see, what do you have to say? Oh, what, towel? Oh, good. You're also running an inn, $210.
Mr. Baseball Bat for 488. Just grab everybody the new items. Okay. Then he could use the Oh, dang, 1500? Okay. Let's give her the fry pan. Purchase. Okay. Let's pick up 1500. sell. Yeah, we can actually sell some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and sell the hard hat. Sell. And sell the ribbon. that insecticide spray. Nope. Um, we did sell the older one. Got a defense spray, rust promoter. Sell the... Oh, weird. Alright, well, fine. Well, um, yeah, I originally thought Foreside was the next destination. I completely forgot about the, um, the desert zone here. So um, what we'll do here is just kind of stop in the desert and then pick up this area in next stream. So um, <clears throat> what I'll do um, just for like you know a bonus hour of the stream here is I'll go ahead and switch it over and we'll show off the Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's not a very long game, it should probably only take about an hour um, to get through it, so let me get that done. I will be right back with you as I switch the cables here. One more moment, and let me also update the stream title here.
Oh yeah, it's uh, it's got very good music, and again, shout out to uh, Mercury for <laughs> recommending this. I had seen them stream it um, just the other week, and uh, I was immediately like, this is a game I need to buy. <laughs> um, it was only like $12, so it wasn't um, too very bad. Uh, yeah, the OST is on Spotify, um, or whatever else you might use for music. Uh, yeah, it kind of is like the price of a CD album. I mean, not too, uh, much. Okay, so we'll just start here with the first mission. Long ago, a harmonious universe existed beyond ours, and three divine arcana watched over it. But one night, a cursed arcana intersected the astral highways, and along with her star-crossed allies, they stole all harmony and hid it in their vile hearts. Before the Divine Trio started to fade, they created a heroine from the shards of a broken heart and hoped that she would one day be strong enough to save their world. The style and presentation is god tier. Yeah, no, this game is a uh, very great. Okay, left. Also, sorry, I might not be as um, up on the uh, the chats here, just as I focus on um, my actual TV to make sure I get the points. Welcome to the stream, um, SK and slash or Vivian. We hope your day is going well, and I also hope that uh, your voice, SK, is repairing. Alright, and we'll move on to the heart stage one, um, stage. Doing okay, haven't opened my trap at all today, and it feels good. <laughs> yes, that is, well, I'm glad, of course. Um, do what you got to, to, you know, not just totally wreck your voice. Happening. Oh. Ooh. Gold rank. 
just SK. Yeah, well, either way, of course, hope uh, Vivian is also doing well. And, you know, thanks for dropping by here. I do appreciate it. All right, and we've got... Oh, I think there's actually a mode that just kind of plays them all in succession. I guess do folks care if I just do that one since it'll automatically play all the stages together? Uh, sorry I only made it to the back half. Um, this game looks hella sweet. Yeah, no, this game is honestly pretty enjoyable. Um, it's pretty low. Um, it's only like $12. Um, but it's pretty neat. Um, I think I'll just do the album arcade just so it kind of plays it all together. Um, so I'm gonna skip this cutscene. And I guess we'll just do it this way. Also, um, I am trying to get these gold ranks on some of these stages, but like, gosh, is it really hard sometimes? I do appreciate that at least the game, of course, uses like a lot of, um, like, kind of, I don't want to say simple, but like, not like kind of simplish patterns, um, that like once you recognize them, it's like pretty sweet, and it gets a little bit easier to do some of the, uh, the more difficult, like, gold rankings, uh, that are available. Yeah, our, yeah, I just went to album mode just to kind of, I guess, have it do it sequentially. Um, sorry if that kind of tripped folks up. I just figured because this is also a mode I need to work on too. <laughs> uh, Persona. Yes. Uh, everybody knows Persona. The one that has invented Arcana. And I, I don't mean that as like a quip to you, uh, SK, also. The joke on the, this game is like Persona crowd. <laughs> okay, let's grab that left one. Then move to the left, to the right. Oh, oh well. Ah, moving so fast. Persona <laughs> is. Uh, just between the Arcana and the Mask, the similarities were amusing. Persona invented tarot, jazz, and JRPGs. Very prolific. <laughs> it has lesbian swords and tarots. This game is for the gays. Exactly. Alright, and then this is the Doki Doki Rush stage. Honestly, the music is so great. Ah. If only my gamer is ah fuck. If only my video gamer skills were better. Ah.
Take a deeper rush, this is this moment. Oh shit. Ah. Um, it has this moment where it's like, this is good to oh my fucking god for me. Uh, AKA right after the intro. Escape, uh, City Escape from Sonic Adventure to get a facelift. Level based around San Francisco, I'm guessing. Yeah, at least that's kind of what I get. Just kind of like a San Francisco-ish um, vibe with like a lot of the streetcars. Cable cars, uh, you get them. USA, according to Sweden. I feel that though. <laughs> Goddamn thieves. <laughs> This stage, like on the singular um, run, is actually really hard for me. I'm still really working hard to get the gold ranking. It kind of like asks you to basically get the perfects on everything. There we go. Time of the jumps, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is like one of my favorite stages, though, uh, in the game. Ooh, perfect. looks phenomenal. <laughs> yes, this game is very, very good. The forest boss is my favorite. Kind of harder than this. Yeah, no, this is the first boss stage. It's like, honestly, one of the longest ones. At least it feels. Um, other than like the final stage is pretty long. Um, so that's kind of why personally I find it a little hard to really get all the, the perfect rankings. Or, not the perfect, the, the gold rankings, sorry. Okay, right. Ah, shit, that was early. It doesn't do many things, but it does them perfectly. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, this game just, um... It does things long enough so that it doesn't feel... Um, overdone, which is... I guess is the best way that I can put it personally. Last stage is the hardest because of an eight minute melody. Oh yeah. I think I got the gold on that one already, so like I don't have to return to it. 
but geez. on all stages. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard, so I, I don't blame you, of course. Um, like, these, like, rhythm games are honestly, like, my shit just because of the score systems, um, where I'm just like, okay, now I really want to get this number or, like, this ranking. I think the only stage I don't fully like is it's in the it's one of the the desert stages. Um, it's like almost there, but that's like the only complaint I have um, in the game really from having played it. Oh shit! Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, sorry. So when I meant, like, rhythm, I just mean, like, how it has, like, it's, like, more of a score system is what I meant to say, I suppose. Yeah, so, um, Mosca says one punch, and then this game feels like a properly made Flash game that you'd find on a web page during computer class. <laughs> um, also, this game has a lot of flashing and color, so my brain cannot follow all the time. No, I get that. Um, there's like one scene in one of the final stages where there is just really intense, like flashing. Oops. Uh, really intense, intense flashing that I actually like kind of got a migraine from. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is the only forest level stage I still have to, like, get a gold on. Um... Really? There we go. Sweet. Yeah, the prompts are time to the beat, so that is pretty rad. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's true, <laughs> Mosca. It would be fucked up if they weren't. <laughs> um, I think what's like interesting about like the button presses, at least in my opinion. Because I kind of like need a little bit of assistance with like visual aid as well as like music, you know, like the, the sound cues. Um, and I noticed that like if you wait just a slight moment after the ring has like enveloped the like the action request, you'll get the perfect. So that's just kind of what I've seen. I don't know if that makes sense, but... <laughs> okay. And to the right, left, and then center. Okay. 
I mean, the collecting of stuff otherwise is not as time to the beat as, like, Bit Trip Runner. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Bit Trip Runner. I have not heard that name in a while. Um, <laughs> this is a metaphor for that one time. <laughs> Her friends went to the wood and smoked weed. <laughs> This theme, honestly, is the one that most makes me think of something like Sonic related. Like it would be a, a stage of like a Sonic 3D casino level from like Heroes or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just a random fleeting thought in my mind. Uh, Bit Trip Runner just got released on Switch. Oh, nice! That is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, I don't like this one. This one's only hard for me because of the first person perspective. Outside of that, it's not bad. No, this is great. Yeah, the, just the drop is so good. Um, got another wolf. There's one in, of course, and the song goes so hard. Uh, and you do a boss fight with some retreating boss who chucks barrels at you. Also, welcome here. Uh, let me know if you wanted to join in.
well, I can't see a Discord message. If I have it closed, it appears. So that one is on me. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Meanwhile, my closed Discord. For shame. You've known me for how long? A couple years. I don't know. <laughs> I can see that image in my head. Let me in. <laughs> yes. Let me into your mind. Let me corrupt Wait. you with unattainable. Mercury, why do you keep madness? going SMH my head? That's what the Shake abbreviation- Shake my head, head! I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Also, welcome to the stream, Leslie. I love this game too, Leslie. I have only gotten through like the first three levels, so I do not know the rest of the level, so I'm excited to see the rest of this uh, musical uh, run and gun uh, game. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. All those perfects and that one good, that's what kills me. Hey, you can always try again. Oh no, I'm doing the mode where you just run it through one time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm impressed that they managed to get Queen Latifah to narrate this. I know, I was like thrown back because I was like, that's familiar, who is this? And then I looked it up and it was like, Queen Latifah? And but my friend really excited. Um, someone needs to make a classic Baroque painting of the devil at the gates of heaven, and that's just Eric Andre. <laughs> that would queen. be really good. Yeah, no, so... So the one who did the narration at the beginning um, of the game, she'll also do narration at the end of the game, is Queen Latifah. Yep. It's her. Oh, I likely just forgot <laughs> that you mentioned it on your stream, Mercury. <laughs> no worries, though. Ugh, anyway. This is the best part with the lesbian. The, le the bat lesbian on my, my, my representation. I can imagine modding this level to be like Bayonetta, John and Bayonetta. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, these are the sword lesbians. The bat lesbians are from before. <laughs> yeah. Is MC a lesbian? I mean... I took this as like a trans lesbian, or trans like woman lesbian kind of game. I don't know. That's just me. Whatever it is, it ain't straight. This is- there are no heteros in this game, indeed. Ooh, these levels are really good. Yeah, this all I can- This is a very gimmick. Yeah. All I can think of is that, um, and I want a sword, you know? <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean. There's like the meme image. If you hear slurpy noises in the background, it's my dog. I promise you, there isn't like some slime monster in the basement or anything at my place. Sure. We weren't thinking that until now you supposedly mentioned that's not the case.
The color palette screams gay and possibly trans. It is, in fact, gay as kissing. It's level... Oh, this is my favorite one, though. You're doing really good for these levels. Like, I remember playing, like, the first three levels and not doing... Oh, shit, I went the wrong way. Ah. No, it's not gonna let me. No! Okay, that's fine. I forget that you need to go right on that first one. I'm surprised this game did not win Game of the Year. I mean, I'm not, but not because of the game, but just because of... Uh, how do you say? I mean, what the game awards represent? Yeah. Because yeah. this game did start off as a mobile game on the Apple Arcade. Exactly. So, like, and I know, like, there is the whole entire just, like, tablet kind of, like... People, gamers kind of look down on mobile games, I know for certain. But I think this is really impressive for a mobile game. Like the way that it's gameplay, like the way that it's like gameplay is designed to kind of be more like swiping and touchscreen stuff is really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me personally, this doesn't seem like it would be um, all that enjoyable uh, as like a touchscreen controlled game. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I, I feel like. I'm I think it deserves to win instead of whatever won in 2019, which I believe was, oh wait, yeah, it was Sekiro that won 2019. Control and Sekiro came out in 2019. You know what? Control okay. Game of the year. That's my take. Yeah, I was gonna say Control is really good though. That is a like, big Sekiro game that good, I like. But also, I really like Control. Oh, yeah, no, I said, that's what I was saying. Control is so good. I'm glad it beat Death Stranding. I think it has way much more better art and direction than that game ever did. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was an annoying level to, like, get the timing for. For that sequence of you going back and forth. Yeah, I, I can totally see myself messing up oh, on fuck. this. You're doing really good, by the way. Just keep saying that. Yep. Oop, I missed the, the QB in the middle. Alright. I keep forgetting that I can, like, warp to the other side. Okay, this part... Oh, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Steiner Wild Hearts was nominated for Best Score and lost to Death Stranding. <laughs> what? what? Okay, you know what? That is a crime. I agree. I agree, Mercury. If that actually happened, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of sad. I'm sad, but not like not surprised. I'm just disappointed, you know? Just sad mm -hmm. and disappointed. The way they implement the game design and with the soundtrack is very good. This is some good level design. Like I, I think this deserves the best soundtrack if this is the case. Okay. <laughs> this is the level I don't really like. I just don't think it's. Um, I just don't like the control. It's like not fully there. Yeah. It's not like, I think like this is very good level design because this is just Temple Runner. Remember Temple Runner? That was a big game on the mobile, on the mobile phone. Yeah, no, I, just... I remember it. <laughs> yeah, no, like this game is literally just Temple Runner, but like 
really well designed and has a really lovely art direction and has actually some really good gimmicks. Yeah. No! I missed it. Okay, Hades is like pretty good um, from what I've seen. So I do that not- That should have won Game of the Year. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be the hot take here and say that like, I don't think any game that's been made under like very shoddly like bad labor laws should be nominated for like awards mm -hmm. also i like had to remember that um resident evil 3 remake had come out this year oh yeah you're right yeah and that was wild to me that's also a very good game it's just like Wait, so then a much it was just like experience. it's barely been a year when we talked about our Russian twatty? Or not twatty? It hasn't even been a year yet. It hasn't been a year since we thirst for our Russian dank? Damn. His arms though. Yep, obviously. And our greasy, greasy Latino. Yep. That boy is so greasy, he could start his own fry, his own, like, fast food chain. <laughs> ah! Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay, 80% of the but I also kind of agree with you with the whole, like, Animal Crossing kind of does deserve to be Game of the Year, especially during the pandemic. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Animal Crossing is, like... Like, cultural-wise, in, in the sense of, like, like, if we're really gonna take a step back and see, like, how do games impact the way we interact with society, look no further than Animal Crossing and what it did for people during the pandemic. Like, I think that definitely deserves to be something mm -hmm. worth looking at. I mean, I know Animal Crossing won family-friendly, like, game of the year at the awards, but I still think, like, yeah, like... Oh, this is really cool. Sorry, I'm just looking at, like, the visor part, and it's really cool. Yeah. This is a really cool game, damn. No, how, how is this game not game of the year? No! Ah, whoops. All I can say of Mosca Blanca about, like, Animal Crossing and the way it was at least geared, at least when creating um, the islands and visiting people's islands, like, that mechanic, I think, allowed people to kind of inadvertently interact with other with each other you know like it, it definitely helps some people i know it helped me out during the, my uh, height of oh god uh spring semester which was rough mm -hmm. i was late to the party so i thankfully did not have to experience bunny day oh god i was like fine with bunny day because i know like i've played city folk enough to know that like um hopper is just some villager in a suit Oops. like that's the lore of yeah. that character so i'm just like i understand bro you're just doing your job i i don't blame you you know mm -hmm. goodness mercury says do not even mention bunny day Oh yeah, no, the furniture is also really ugly and it really made it hard to get, like, to mine more resources because holy moly did the eggs, like, kind of mess up people's, uh, like, flow of trying to 
mind resources. Like, I get that part too with Bunny Day. Yeah, it kind of seems, and I was not into Animal Crossing at that time, but it kind of seemed just like a test <laughs> for how they could, like, do the events, you know? Because they mentioned that the events would not be built... Didn't they say the events technically weren't built into the game and they would be entered as online updates? Yeah. yeah. Now they've pretty much, I think, implemented all the holidays they wanted to implement. Yeah. But I think what it is is that maybe the bunny, ba uh, bunny day thing was a bit more of a test to see um, guess how they could do it. So I, I don't feel they're going to do it again where um, fishing and like such all oh, wow. or like fishing and all that stuff give the return eggs. of bunny day i worry about the return of bunny day well musco blanca just go elysium is also really good and i understand that too that's also a really good game oh yeah i've heard really good things about it Game of the decade is should go to Kentucky Route Zero. That's my game of the decade wreck. Mm -hmm. Cause that's a game that actually like spans almost a decade in production, but manages to like get better as it um, as it gets further into development. Exactly! Mercury. That's that's why I think it do, it should be game of the decade. Mercury, which which game are you gonna apply? Took a decade to make. Are we talking about Duke Nukem Forever? Because that's also no. wild. I mess with that. Well, Undertale is a lot. Yeah, Undertale is important, and definitely do we do give an important shout out to PUBG because without PUBG, we definitely wouldn't have Fortnite probably. <laughs> I remember like when one of my friends was really into PUBG. I was just like, what? <laughs> I am just like, I am gay. Please explain. Yeah. Ah. I really do like the beginning sequence of like, the opening is just Claire de Lune for this, for Sign Hour Wild Hearts. I think it's a really lovely opening. Like, a good way to hook people into the mechanics. Yeah. It's a very good intro stage. Yeah. We're all talking about our good old gamer takes here. Minecraft was in 09. Wait, but didn't Minecraft get, like, the 1.0 release? in 2010? Yeah, I would say Minecraft is definitely what, like a game of the decade if we want to like put it in that, you know, kind of like grouping. Yeah. Oh, 2011. Yeah. I know a lot of people joke about like Minecraft and such, but like there's a reason why it's like one of the biggest games ever. Oh. Yeah, no, like, I would put, if I were to put, like, if I were to make a museum of games that were, oh. like, if I were to, to make a museum to kind of curate games that left a big impact on the industry, I would absolutely make sure to include Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we are now have to deal with Skull Betty. The Skull Karen. <laughs> yep. Oh. 
Mom spaghetti. Go Betty. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I would put Sinar Wild Hearts in the museum curation. I think Sinar Wild Hearts is fascinating in a normal game. It should be respected. Oh yeah. And the fact that it's been it's been easily been able to be portable into other games too is really nice. You know. That is fair about Skyrim, but I feel like Skyrim was also even. Uh, I feel like either Skyrim or Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I mean, people will probably say Fallout New Vegas as like the better story content and you know, etc. But I feel like um, what's it called? Uh, Skyrim Walking is. Walking Dead. Yeah, Telltale's Walking Dead also defined a whole other genre of games too. That's also important. Yeah. Oh, Home Alone? Wait. No, go on Home Sorry, not Home Alone. <laughs> I was gone. gonna say, what does Home Alone on the NES have to do with this? <laughs> I mean, Gone Home started the whole, like... I really don't like using the term walking simulator, because at this point it's been used derogatorily. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, so I get kind of like... Because, like, like, Gone Home really isn't just about walking, like, it's really about exploration, really, because it's like, you're going through people's garbage like a raccoon, and that's something. Dear Esther? Oh, I was, Gone, was Dear Esther the second? But Gone Home, I feel like, is the better example. Let mm -hmm. me see. No, Gone Home's also on this decade. I would put Gone Home, in my opinion. Okay, people talk a lot about Mario Galaxy, but was it that good? I still haven't finished it. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be game-defining. Wait, no. Wii Sports. Wii Sports. <gasps> yes, Wii, Wii Sports. Wii Sports, definitely. Yep. Wii Sports. That's important. Yeah, I was like, wait, what about the Wii? <laughs> and then I was like, Wii Sports. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, like Wii Sports Resort was so cool. <laughs> um, uh, Dear Esther is very mediocre by today's standards, but it created those standards. So, and what is this blasphemy I'm hearing? I don't know. I just find walking in and all the controversy. Is Here's the thing: game. I don't think Dear Esther and Non Home are the same though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like their narrative, like the way they implement narrative in their gameplay is actually different because Gone Home's very, very much more like you're piecing it together. Like literally a lot of its story is in the items and I think Gone Esther's very, a very straightforward atmospheric more so, you know? Yeah. All right. Another music like, stage. I think, like, like I think Gone Home actually has mechanics that it implements with its story. why I don't think like I like people are like oh gone home and dear Esther but like surprisingly I don't think they're the same game like I think they're very different like they're different games they implement similar game mechanics but they're very different they're different in like their narrative design and how they implement how they implement that narrative so I feel like I would I would perfectly go with gone home mm -hmm. I, I guess you know we can put we can put both we can put both dear Esther and gone home okay what about the shooters what? I feel. I guess system shock. Look at that. Skull Betty is mocking us. The Karen she is. That is true. I just remember seeing a lot of people talk about Gone Home with Dear Esther, so I feel like Gone Home with Dear Esther. Oh, like I would put them both in the museum if 
we're gonna if we're gonna make like a, if we're gonna curate a museum exhibit for like games of the decade, you know, mm-hmm. that's what I would go with. What if we cosplay sign our wild heart characters for this for next Halloween? <laughs> I will be Skull. I kind of want to cosplay Skull Betty. She's got like this dandy boy outfit going on, and I kind of like it. Mm-hmm. I'm scythe. I'm kind of ready to be like. I'm ready to cosplay this lady. Yeah. She's also got electric powers, which is an instantaneous, like, yes for me. I, I have a soft spot for characters that have electricity powers, you know? Yeah. That's why your favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. Get the fuck out of here, Smoltic. <laughs> Dare you. Was a jest. Jabriki says, Rise of Try 2013 was the first of the Retro FPS craze. Okay, sweet. We put Undertale, of course. Undertale, big indie game boom. We got um, The Walking Dead by Telltale. Sign out Wild, Wild Hearts. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Bioshock Infinite. I'm gonna put that not because it's actually a good game, but because it really does solidify a lot of what at that time what a lot of like AAA industries kind of wanted in terms of prestige game, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, my my hand is over the mic in the moment, sorry. Alright, I am just talking in now. Just like the Karen, we punch her and tell her I am the jerk. Ooh, yes, Doom. Doom 2016. I can definitely put that in a cure. I would definitely put that in a curation for like FPS shooters, Doom. Uh, we're just chatting about games of the decade. Uh, you know what? I'll put Bioshock Infinite. The Last of Us side by side. Because I feel like they're very, like, into look into, like, the AAA games idea of prestige, you know? Mm hmm. I'm not gonna lie, as someone who has, like, only just recently played the Bioshock games, um. Two is not that bad. It's, like, kind of my favorite one. Just because it's kind of bad, but like in a good way, if that makes sense. Don't you get it? It's there. It, yeah. Like the story wise, like game wise. Oh, the story's pretty bad. Yeah, because this is like this side. We, we tackled Anne Rand, like Anne Rand's like objectivism. So now we're gonna we're gonna tackle the opposite of that, which is collectivism. Mm hmm. We're going to improve them both sides. Yeah, and then just Bioshock Infinite. I just... I don't know. I played... I played more of it than I wanted to, just to make sure. But I just didn't like it. It's, um... I think probably just because of that. Oh, fuck. Huh. Ooh, SK's right. I would absolutely want to take this into, like, who we're going to do we're gonna like curate indie games. Okay, if we're gonna curate indie games, we're gonna put Super Meat Boy, Neighbors Please, Undertale, Gone Home, Diner Walmart, and Puppy Brother Zero, Disco Leaf. I, I, I don't know what Disco Leaf is. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. We also got, uh... I really do love this terrible uh, aesthetic for Sign of the Wild Hearts. It's really good. 
Yes, it is very cool. You see, this game absolutely no, like, hits all the stuff for the game. It has the tarot cards, which, you know, is super big. All it needs are the Zodiacs, and then there you go. Oh yeah, the, the Binding of Isaac game. I forgot about that. My brother plays that all the time. It's good. <gasps> Portal! Portal 2. Oh, true. Okay, which was more groundbreaking? Portal 2 or 1? I kind of want to say 2, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I really like- oh shit. I really like Splatoon, but I would say Splatoon is mostly just a situation of Like, if you look at the campaign, like, Square Mode, I think that's a really good, like, platforming shooter, um, puzzle game mechanics to it that are very nice. Uh -huh. I just really wish Splatoon really leaned onto that more. Oh yes, we kissed her! We kissed the gal! Yeah. Yep. So, as much as I like Splatoon, I don't think Splatoon does anything super innovative, though. I think what Splatoon was, um, was a breakup in the, uh, very, like, collective, like, homogenized, um, era of, like, shooters. So I don't know if I would consider it a game of the decade. When your lesbian crush turns into a dragon, <laughs> you, kiss her, you kiss her too much. She becomes a she becomes a crystal dragon. Did we say we we've given like epilepsy warning, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, of course, be careful. Oh, God, all these. Please. I said the title. Okay. Oh, Mercury, that's right. Uh, oh. Broken Age was, I think, a very big hype uh, adventure game. But it's good. But it's bad. But it's so good. Uh, sure, patholo I'll, I'll throw in Pathologic too. Away. For years she fell from spirals of sadness and anger until she could not fall any deeper and fell right back into her room. Controversial game, Pokemon Go. No, I definitely feel like Pokemon no, Go is one of them. Ooh, what about Celeste? 
I have not played it, but sure. <laughs> the Pokemon Go Summer is the opposite of the Animal Crossing, like, release, um, spring. Yeah. Hooray, we helped yeah, her I would out of say, depression. Yeah, no, I would say breakup. as far as, like, indie, though, Meat Boy was definitely bigger than the less. I don't know. I mean, let's be real. At the end of the day, what does it mean to be really influential? Is it influential to the point that we grab certain mechanics based off it that inspires us? Like, I'm, I'm trying to pin... Like, I feel like pinpointing down, like, what is influential versus what is, like, a good example of good game design. That's what I'm trying to break down here with what we're talking about. If Wait, uh, does Cave Story go into this group, too? I never played Cave Story. How, how big of an impact was Cave Story? I don't know, but people won't stop talking about it. No, it originally came out in 2004. Okay. Wait, no, it originally came out in 2004, but it did get, like, a reboot, so let's see. It's gotten, like, so many. Okay. Yeah, no, the reboot came out in 2004. Yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It says... Oh, okay, so an enhanced version of Cave Story Plus was released on November 2011. So that might be why. So I guess Sayonara, technically it counts, but, you mm. know... Eh. Wait! No! <laughs> got silver ranked? Yeah. Uh -huh. I needed, um, 40,000 more points. <laughs> SK is getting whiplash from how old Shantae is, which is 2002. Oh yeah, no, OG Shantae is, uh, 2001 or 2. It's okay, Mercury. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I feel like if I'm creating this museum, I wouldn't say what is influential, but maybe what is a good idea of representing games, maybe? Like, I think maybe we can throw in... Is Hollow Knight... Would I throw in Hollow Knight for a good Metrovania example? It is uh, interesting. It is yeah, Shantae good. was a Game Boy Color game. Best in class, maybe? I don't know, at this point, if I were to create games, you would be like, alright, make this exhibit of games, and I think it would just be like, alright, mm -hmm. what are games that I think highlight the best aspects of game design is now how I'm approaching this creation, you know, instead of like, the most influential, because then like, I'm also thinking like, what are games that, because when I think of like, the most influential game, I also think like, is there a context behind this game design that allows people who have no idea about games? who have no game literacy to begin with in terms of gameplay design might be able to walk into this game, I think is another thing I want to think about. Yeah. Because there's definitely a lot of, like, design principles that we learn as gamers that we eventually learn in terms of, like, how, to, how game controls are usually designed or, like, what are certain, like, signifiers that mean certain aspects of, like game at like game mechanics so i'm just trying to think like what are things that are also good to show people the types of game design we've developed over the ages is also i think how i'm approaching this mm -hmm. oh, hey uh, reina how are you welcome to the stream hope you're doing well today um originally i was gonna end the stream just in case you hadn't came back but yeah. Um, no, it's fine. I was actually gonna. I was thinking of like maybe I should try and start streaming the other the long gone days on my end, maybe. Yeah. 
maybe we can take a break and then I start streaming and we can get back on it. Uh, sure. Yes, I started streaming now, everybody. Hooray, I finally figured out how to stream games on this MacBook. It's amazing. <clears throat> uh, I agree with you, Moscow Blanca. Game of the Decade versus uh, Best Games of the Decade. Um, or uh, SK. Sorry, uh, I definitely agree. I think like best games of this decade versus game of the decade are definitely two different, like implied two different aspects. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is. I kind of want to write down everything we brought up because we covered a lot of the gr that of a lot of ground in that convo. We did. Uh, I kind of started mentally writing it down, so I'm kind of writing it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we really went through like the really big ones. I would say at least we covered games that were kind of, um, how do you say? Mm. Made the biggest influence on the industry? I don't know. Um, a Mac gang, we should make a stream list because we can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, 2010s had a whole lot. <laughs> oh, uh, when did uh, Amnesia come out? Let's be real, that also definitely influenced, like, a lot of, like, Let's Players and YouTube. And YouTube gaming. Oh yeah, that definitely, um... Definitely was. Yeah, it literally came out in 2010, September 8th, 2010. So yeah, it is a 2010 game of the decade. I would put that down too. <laughs> yeah, Amnesia, at least, I feel like it helped create more of those like stealthy kind of horror um, games. Are you ready when... Are you ready when Psychonauts 2 finally comes out? I next year? literally cannot wait. Hell yeah. <laughs> Psychonauts 2. It's also funny that Jack Black is going to be in that game. <laughs> he, he seems to be like, I think he's very chummy with Tim Schafer or like, because like he's in a lot of, he's in a lot of voice acting for a lot of Double Fine games. Oh, really? Yeah, he was originally in, uh, he was in Broken Age, which was another Double Fine adventure game. He was, like, a minor character, and then mm -hmm. he also, like, voiced the main character, I think one of the main characters from, uh, is it Double Fine Game? Yeah. I'm trying to just look up the game. It's like, okay, Brutal Legend. He, I think, voiced the main character from Brutal Legend. I'm not gonna lie, if I think of Tim Schafer and um jack black their visage blends together yeah no no no. he literally starred in their game brutal legends because like the main character uh, of brutal legend which is eddie riggs is literally voiced by and the model is based after after uh jack black uh, it says also, Dota uh, released in 2013. The voice actor of Raz, who plays Billy from Billy and Mandy, is also recovering, like, casting choices. Forgot his name. Oh, wait, why did it say- why didn't it give me two? I asked for Dota 1. Oh yeah, 2004 it says. What is okay, Raz's yeah, voice Richard actor? Richard Steven Horvitz is also recurring, like, casting choice in Double Fine Games, too. Yeah, I really like him as a voice actor. I think he's really good. He's like, really good. He's having retained. that same, like, 12 or 13 year old raspy voice. I don't know. It's just it's really impressive. funny. The fact that he can maintain Raz's voice even after a decade is really good. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, we are going super deep into, like, this rabbit hole of Double Fine Games now. 
<laughs> Alright, are you gonna do another run or do you think you're gonna take a break and then maybe we get back into and then I stream or something maybe? What do you think? What's the plan? Uh, sure. It's five hour time. Um, we could like close up the stream here. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, what time, I guess, would you want to stream? Uh, I'll stream in like maybe the next hour so then maybe you can get like a nice nap or a break. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess just join us, uh, at the start of the next hour then. Um, yeah. Hopefully it should all be set up, and I will be your co-host, so be prepared yeah. for- guys, I like y'all, I have a stream now, I stream now. <laughs> Thanks for the content and the vibes. Yes, take care of yourselves, take this next hour, I mean, if you join us, um, you know, in Jupiter's stream, of course you don't have to, um, but if you join us, we hope you have an amazing little break here, or an awesome rest of your days. Take care, yes. everybody. Bye. Later.